session, MG Women Torship. Here, we look at how MG Motor is looking at building a pipeline of women leaders. May I please invite Mr. Rajiv Chaba, Managing Director, MG Motor India, to tell us more about what they're doing. We have been told and taught that the purpose of any organization is typically to maximize the value of shareholder. But at MG India, we believe that we need to maximize the value of stakeholders. And we include employees, dealers, and community environment as part of stakeholders. So at the inception, we thought about how do we compete in this cutthroat automotive environment in India. And we thought about four pillars, which will be part of our DNA and the culture of MG India. You can imagine commonsensically technology and consumer experience being the two, but then we thought diversity and community service will be another two, which will lay a good foundation uh, for us uh, uh, at the time of start itself. Within diversity, we talked about uh, that, uh, how do we get more and more women employees? How do we make it a compelling place? And we did all kinds of programs, you can imagine, uh, to attract good talent. Uh, we also started investing in girl child education right from the day one. Working in MG is an excitement in itself. The moment I step inside this company, I don't feel like I'm in a regular automobile company. The overall culture, ambience, the freedom that you get is really amazing. Working with an organization which focuses on the society betterment and upliftment of the people, it brings a sense of satisfaction and achievement. People from different backgrounds, different fields, they are working along with us. So it helps in nurturing our knowledge and skills while performing our tasks. Just like in working in Resonance with our passion. Working at MG is very uh, secure and peaceful to me and I feel very proud to work as a MG employee. It is a very amazing feeling and I'm also happy with my work and I'm enjoying my work. Dry Hope Back is a returnship program. It is a program for a period of one year. If woman is passionate about the work, you know, she can manage both the things, work life as well as personal life. Once I decided to uh, work again and join MG, I found my life again. I'm so happy about it. The life has been good. Now it's a mix of multiple flavors, family, work and fun. So we have many initiatives. Now today, we want to start another initiative, which basically is mentoring women entrepreneur or called Who Mentorship. Now in this program, what we are talking about is that can be identified budding and existing uh, women entrepreneurs who are in the area of underprivileged and marginalized women workforce. These entrepreneurs will try to provide a ecosystem uh, to make sure that we can take care of uh, underprivileged women of our society by skilling them in many areas. So this whole program is actually trying to make an ecosystem uh, or trying to provide an ecosystem to these uh, young women entrepreneurs. 
Thank you very much for that, Mr. Shaba. Very heartening to see that organizations are looking at building a pipeline of women leaders. And of course, as part of this initiative, MG Motor India and Business Today have identified women who've been working towards lives of thousands of underprivileged and marginalized women across Gujarat and Delhi NCR. MG Motor India will mentor five of these women over the next few months. And of course, uh, we will be announcing the names of these winners over the next few days.